What up, do nuts? You hear that annoying whistle in the background? That's my lack of a quality recording device. Still recording on my webcam because I'm poor and I can't afford a real camera. But I watched this awesome video a while back on how to be happy, and I remembered that it's about appreciating what you already have, and not about wanting what you really need to make a quality video. But really, I am happy to have a laptop with a webcam, a handful of people to watch what I do, and most importantly, the gift of the internet. My videos would be even worse if you can imagine that without the internet. Observe. The internet is a wonderful thing, but is there such a thing as too much of a wonderful thing? I feel like that's a thing that someone said. I don't know. Over the weekend, I went to Kings Island Amusement Park to celebrate a birthday, which is actually today, and I wanted to hear a song that I'd once heard on YouTube. Oh no, I don't have my laptop with me. <laughs> Smartphone. Sparkle, sparkle. And it occurred to me that I am literally never without the internet. In fact, I probably spend about half my time awake on the internet, and I ask you, is that too much? As a proud Ravenclaw and someone who fancies himself an intellectual, and who incidentally speaks in third person, I like to analyze and observe the world around me, often by browsing the World Wide Web of news and factoids and funny or interesting things. But sometimes I fear that I become engulfed in my need to pick apart my surroundings and I forget to actually experience them. And then to further enable my nerdiness, I rub my chin and ponder, is it really so wrong that quiet observation makes me happy? To rationalize, let's think about it. The internet allows me to live in such a way that I can connect with and befriend people from all over the globe where I otherwise could not. It lets me read about and learn about things happening elsewhere in the world. In a sense, I don't see the internet as something that restricts me to my little bubble of oneness. Quite the opposite. It shows me a world far beyond the horizons of my tiny apartment to places I want to see and people I want to meet, but that I do not currently have access to because, once again, I'm poor and I can't afford to do those things at this point in my life. Without the internet, I couldn't do what I do. And let's be honest, there are far worse things I could be looking at online. Wait, what? I couldn't argue with my alter ego, who apparently has better eyesight. I couldn't tweet about what superhero shirts I'm wearing on a given day. You wouldn't be a do-nut, nor would you have the opportunity to send me amazing things like these. Al Gore wouldn't be an inventor, and I would not have the opportunity to get both Vlogbrothers into my videos. No, you only had John in your video. I'm Hank Green, and I subscribe to Nathan Talbot. Oh, that is so... so... Well, if you think of a word, let me know. And do-nuts, what do you think? Is the internet all that, or am I being inexpedient? which is a word I looked up on the internet. Lawyered. As always, thank you for watching. If you didn't like this video, here's a picture of black olive pizza, which is my favorite. And thanks to the internet, I can not only look at it, but I can bring it to my apartment. Of course, I'm referring to delivery services and not printing off the picture and eating the paper. I think we all know from experience that is not the same. I mean, you, you guys have tried that too, right? Again, happy birthday to my friend Sarah, who made these really, 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 really awesome designs for the channel. Feel free to comment and subscribe, and as always, keep doing what you do. Banglorious. What? That is the word, banglorious. I don't even know what that means. Look it up, bookworm.